Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to find the reciprocal of a complex number. In particular, we're going to raise 6 plus i root 2 to the negative 1 power, or in other words, take its reciprocal. Our goal is to write 6 plus i root 2 to the negative 1 in a plus bi form, the standard form of a complex number. We want to keep some facts in mind. First of all, it may be tempting to raise 6 to the negative 1 and i root 2 to the negative 1, but that is not correct. In fact, in general, it's not true that a plus b raised to the n power is equal to a to the n plus b to the n. If a and b were multiplied, that would be a different story, but when we have a sum, remember that when we multiply a plus b times itself m many times, we get some middle terms. So in general, that's just not true. Another thing we need to keep in mind is that when we raise a number to a negative exponent, that's the same as taking 1 over that number to the positive version of the exponent. We're also going going to use a trick in this procedure where we have to remember what happens when we multiply a plus b times a minus b. We always get a squared minus b squared. In other words, the middle terms cancel out. This is called a product of conjugates. Conjugates are binomials that have the same two terms but with a different sign in the middle. And finally, we need to remember that when we raise i to powers, we get the following results. i to the first power is just i i squared is always negative 1. If we multiply i squared times i, we get i cubed, which gives us negative i. And if we multiply i squared times itself, we get i to the fourth. So negative 1 times negative 1 gives us 1 for i to the fourth. But for our purposes, we're only going to need to use i squared. So let's begin. Since I can't distribute the negative 1 to each part, First, I'm going to use the rule about negative exponents. I'm going to rewrite it as 1 over 6 plus i to the square root of 2 to the first power. Of course, I don't have to write first power. That has no effect on the number. So this is going to be 1 over 6 plus i root 2. Now I'm going to do the little trick we talked about regarding conjugates. Remember, a conjugate is a binomial that has the same two terms as the original, but with the opposite sign in the middle. Here we have the binomial 6 plus i root 2. What we would like to do is to multiply it by its conjugate. Of course, we can't just multiply it by its conjugate without changing the value of the fraction. So instead, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. This way, we're really just multiplying by 1, and we haven't changed the value of the fraction. When we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So in the numerator, we have 1 times 6 minus i root 2, which will just give us 6 minus i root 2. In the denominator, we have a product of conjugates. You can multiply this out by foiling, or you can remember that it fits the pattern of a plus b and a minus b, where a is the number 6 and b is the number i root 2. We know that a plus b times a minus b fits the pattern of a squared minus b squared, so we just need to figure out what a squared is and what b squared is. a squared is 36, b squared is going to be i squared times the square root of 2 squared or 2. Or in other words, b squared is just negative 1 times 2, so b squared is negative 2. So using the fact that the denominator will equal a squared minus b squared, we will write 36 minus negative 2. Now we just need to simplify to get into a plus bi form. We've made some progress because we have the i out of the denominator. So now I'm going to subtract in the denominator, leaving the numerator the same. 36 plus 2 is 38. And then I'm just going to distribute this, this division to each term, giving us 6 over 38 minus i root 2 over 38. Reducing, we should always reduce fractions to lowest terms. This is going to give us um, 6 is divisible by 2 as is 38. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 over 38 divided by 2 is 19 minus this isn't going to reduce and to make it fit the format of a plus bi, I'm going to write root 2 over 38 times i, which is the solution. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. 